People ask me how to install the IP camera in Streetlight. For example, there are three IP cameras in the, at the start point, and three cameras after 100 meters, and another three cameras in the next 100 meters, and goes on. The most institute solution is the basic chain setup. We can use the internet cable to chain all these switch together. However, there's its advantage with the basic chain setup. It's because each one connect to each other. If one of the switch just go down, the rest of the camera will just go down as well. The video need to go through each of the switch before it reach the control center. The problem is there's no redundancy pass in this setup. In this video, I'm going to explain how to use the ring net to create a solution for the IP camera in the street light. First of all, let's just go to see the demo, understand how the ring net works. This is the typical ring. Each of the boards stands for the POE switch. So we can connect the camera to this switch to get both power and network from the switch. We can pick one of the most close switch link to get the, to connect to the primary network so we can have the NVR connect to, to receive the video from each of these switch. And now in this circle, if one of the switch or just link just bring, broke, so we still can find the opposite way to return to the control center. The reason is because it's going to, you can see it just create a redundancy path. If this one's take out, so the data still can return back to the switch. But right now let's make a little judgment because this is ring, not the strict line we need. So we just make transfer to create the strict line. Now we can see this is still the ring, right? But we've realized there's another light just from the first switch to the last switch. So you may thinking, however, it, it could be just several hundred meters from the first switch and to the last switch. Don't worry. We're going to use the fiber optic cable to link the, all the switch together. As we know, the fiber optic cable can cover more than a couple kilometer, kilometer distance. So there's n totally no, no problem for, for the fiber optic cable to link the first switch to the last switch. All right, now just let's go back to the see the switch. Now let's go to see the switch. This is the switch which support the fast ring. One of the features is you don't need to manually configure the switch to form the ring. Simply just turn on the D button to the up. It's going to form the ring with the switch around. Here we have two SRP ports. One will connect to the preview switch. The other will connect to the next switch. It's similar like we just found the ring with the people. We use our two hands to connect the people around with the same handshake. Then it's going to be the ring. Here we have a port which will supply the POE camera with the power and the network. Right? The, ups the other side, this is the terminal which will connect to the external power. I would like to say it's very important to pick up the industry grade power supply unit. Most likely this switch will be used outdoor. The temperature could go up sharply in summer. Including the switch and the SRP module, it's required industry grade. The advantage of the industry grade product is it can stand for the wide range temperature, which is very important for outdoor deployment. All right, now we can see the switch just I set the DC 12 voltage to the DC 48, which means it, this switch also work, work with the solar panel system. As the solar panel power system requires the wide, wide voltage input, because when the power is taken by the switch, usually the battery voltage will just change it. So that's the reason why we need the wide, wide voltage input to regulate the power. All right, now let's just make a quick connection. This is the pre-terminal cable, pre-terminal fiber optic cable. We have two rows. One will connect from the left and the other will go to the right. So if we have more than this kind of switch, it's going to form the ring. 
All right. Uh, first, we need to install the SFP module. Now you may see the color is different for this module because one is for the transmit, the other is just just the receipt. All right. Um, we are going to connect the left row to the first SAP module and then we are going to connect the right to the another SAP module move a little bit okay now the connection is done it's going to inform the ring connection uh, you may wondering there's extra fiber optic cable here actually it's not extra it's the fiber optic cable for connect to the the front for the last last switch and the first switch so here we have one waterproof lc fiber optic adapter so usually we need to pass through to get the waterproof pass through the the point. All right. Now let's just make a quick connect uh, demonstration. We just connect this. We we say extra SRP module. So you can see that this is the extra fiber optic. Remember, we just demonstrate on the with the right box. There always has another fiber optic link to form the ring network so the next we just need to repeat the process for this one and con continue until we finish the last one then the, the ring net just complete all right uh, that's all thanks for hanging out don't forget to subscribe if you have any question please leave a comment below have a nice day